Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Taitu Avasa versus Marcin Tybora. Taitu Avasa, 15 and 6, 2 and 3 in his last 5 fights. On a 3 fight losing streak. Slight favorite at minus 130, 31 years old. 6'2 with a 73 inch reach. What am I talking about? 75 inch reach. Marcin Tybora, 24 wins, 8 losses, 3 and 2 in his last 5 fights. Plus 110, again, real close. 38 years old, 6'3", with a 78-inch reach. One inch in height, three inches in reach. This could go one of two ways. This could go where Tai Vasa has the big speed and power advantage and he's able to get Tybora out of there early. Or it could go Marcin Tybora uses, because he is pretty durable. I know he's been finished a few times, but he's still pretty damn durable with the guys that he's fighting. Um... Where Tybora, Tybora makes it ugly, stays in close, beats him up, tires him out a little bit, wears him down, maybe submits him, or anything like that. So, as a main event, it really sucks that this is our main event because it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Both fighters coming off a loss, tied to Avasa coming off three losses in a row, and not only three losses, three finishes. Not good. Lost to Alexander Volkov by Ezekiel Choke. Lost to Sergey Pavlovich by TKO or KO. And then lost to Cyril Gan by KO. Came back way too soon to fight Sergey Pavlovich. And then came back to fight Volkov. Where Volkov absolutely destroyed him. Absolutely ran through him like he was nothing. Three fight losing streak like I said. And three finishes. I don't think necessarily Tybora is going to do too much well on the feet. But I do think if he can get it down to the ground or if he can make it ugly against the cage, it's it's in close where Tybora can do a lot of good things. Now, this is our main event, so we're going to look at the uh, uh, stats here. Um, strikes landed per minute, 3.98 to 3.55 for Tuavasa. Accuracy is 49 to 48, which that is Tuavasa's uh, bread and butter. That's what he's good at. Uh, absorbed per minute, 4.98 to 3.35. Defense, 43 to 55% for Tybora. Here's where it's interesting. Takedown average for a 15-minute fight. Through a 15-minute fight, 1.39. 33% accuracy, 0 for Tybora. Defense, 54 to 79 and 0.1 submission attempt for Tybora. But knowing that the submissions can be there for Tybora in this one against two of us if he can get them down. You got to expect him to go for some for some uh, um, submissions. And, you know, again, we've seen Tybora get finished. We've seen him not look great in that octagon. Did just fight the champion in uh, Tom, uh, Tom Aspinall. He's 11-7 and seven in the UFC. He's been finished four times, same as he has wins by TKO or KO. Never been submitted. Now again, has fought Blagoy Ivanov, Alexander Romanov, Volkov. He actually fought, lost the decision to Walt Harris, Greg Hardy, Ben Rothwell, Maxine Grisham, Sergey Spivak. Lost four in a row. Fabrizio Verdum, Lewis, Shamil, and Augusto Sakai. Three uh, KO losses in a row. Looked real bad there for a minute. Then he won four in a row, lost one, won two in a row, and then lost one. So... The strength of schedule for Tybora is pretty dang good. Now, Aspinall was able to get him out of there early. And Derek Lewis got out, got him out of there in the third round. Shamil got him out of there in the second. Uh, Augusto Sakai got him out under a minute in the first. So there's, there's ways to find a finish template to finish Tybora early. Swarm him early. Get him out of there. The longer you leave him in that fight, the better he gets. He's been finished five times in his career. All five of them are by TKO or KO. Does have, what is that, 15 finishes? Yeah, 15 finishes. Pretty damn good. Seven decisions. Not great in the UFC, but whatever. I'm going tied to Avasa. I think he's able to find that finish pretty early. I think he swarms them probably, I'm going to say under... Under three rounds is my prediction for Taito Avasa by TKO or KO. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you're picking. Peace.